Hello everybody and welcome to the last Rockabilly Guitar Lesson in 2019 and I will finish the year just how I started it with a top five and today I'll show you the top five must know Cliff Gallup licks. So of course Cliff Gallup was the guitar player for the early Gene Vincent recordings and if you're not familiar with his work then this should be on the top of your to-do list for 2020 to get these two albums here. It's such a great band with their ranging from a wild high paced rock and bully all the way to uh, jazz standards and ballads and it shows the great variety of Cliff Gallup here. So you can lose weight another year but you can't live another day without these two albums. Trust me. <laughs> and if you haven't done yet please subscribe to my uh, channel and press the bell button so you never miss a lesson uh, like this one. The top five must know Cliff Gallup licks. I wish you all a happy and rocking new year. So the first lick that you must know is for me the mother of Cliff Gallup licks. It's uh, his trademark lick that you find in almost every rock and roll rockabilly uh, Gene Vincent solo. Yeah, so it goes like this. I'm in the key of G here and he plays it in various uh, positions or various places during a 12 bar or uh, any other chord progression. So I will play and this lick to a jam track, a 12 bar blues in G, and then you can hear how it sounds like. I will play it in three different places. So this is what it sounds like in the solo uh, play to a chord progression to a jam track. So as I said we're in a key of G and you will start with a hammer on from 3 to 4 index to middle finger and then you can use your ring finger or your pinky. I usually use my pinky yeah? because then it's easier to go from 5 here on the D string to the second fret on the D string where I use my index then to 5 on the a string and then a chromatic run from 2 to 5 so you will use all your fingers and then the last note is the G here you know, the uh, fifth fret on the D string so it sounds like this one more time and of course you can play it in, in any key if we move to A here yeah, if you have your bar chord, F shape, then you know where to start this lick. And it sounds like this in the key of A. So you gotta learn this solo if you wanna play a little bit like a Cliff Gallop. Then the next lick that I wanna show you is taken from A Race with the Devil. It's in the key of E and uh, it's played over the five chord. So I will play it to a jam track again and then you can hear how it sounds like and then I'll break it down. Okay, so the five chord in the key of E is B, which can be played like this. Seventh fret, F shape, but we will just use the E, the high E and the D string. And we start from one fret below and slide into the B chord. So we start on 8 on the D string, sliding into the 9th fret, and then we play 7 on the high E string. One more time. And then we repeat this pattern until we reach uh, the one chord, which is E. So one more time. It sounds like this from the top. You pick 8, slide to 9, play 7. When you pick 9, Slide to 10, play 8 on the high E string. Pick 10, slide to 11, pick 9 on the high E string. And then in E, you can play whatever you want. Um, this is all played in 8th notes. Yeah, When I count with it, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Oh, 
whatever you want to play. Yeah. One more time, a little faster. I think that's uh, what's played in A Race with the Devil. So this is your next Cliff Gallop lick. So here's the famous bugle call lick that Cliff Gallop plays in Blue Jean Bob. It's in the key of G and it goes like this. It starts on the A string, 5th fret. Then you proceed to the D string, open, 5th fret. Again open D string and 5th fret. So it sounds like this. Then you play 4 on the G string and 5 on the D string. And then the next part starts on the 5th fret D string, then 4 on the G string. This is a quarter note here. Back to 5 on the D string. And then the last two notes, 3 on the B string to 4 on the G string. And the second part. And here's the whole lick slowly for you. A little faster. That's how it continues. And if you want to learn all uh, three solos from Blue Jean Bob, I have the Gene Vincent special up here that I did some months ago. So you can check that out where you can learn uh, Peg of My Heart and Blue Jean Bob. Here is what I call the king of dissonant licks. I guess the jazz players will disagree with me. But when you play it slowly, it really sounds awful. You can hear it in Cruisin' by Gene Vincent. So you play the E string together with a 6th fret of the B string. That's nice already. And then you play open B with a 3rd fret of the G string. And to make things worse, the D string 4th fret together with the open G string. But then you play a G chord and everybody thinks, oh, this is how it should be. Huh? And when I play it fast to the jam track, it makes sense all of a sudden. So you can see uh, music theory is one thing. Uh, you would never really attempt to play something like this. but. Whatever sounds cool is right, so that's what you got to do. So I guess you've warmed up by now, so it's time to put the pedal to the metal with a speedy cliff gallop lick that you can hear in Hold Me, Hug Me, Rock Me. The song is in the key of E and the lick is a series of pull-offs that you play. You pick the third fret and then you pull off to the second and to the open string. And start with a E string, then you do the same on the B string, back to the E string and the B string. And the third time around, you play the E string, B string, G string. And you finish here on the E on your E second fret of the D string. So we put it together. In the original, the whole lick runs over four measures. I just simplified it a little bit and um, played it over two measures. <laughs> 